Hello everybody, I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Day with your Public Lands Council weekly weather update for this July 15th, 2023. It's being brought to you by WSR Insurance Services Incorporated and also being brought to you by Ag Risk Advisors. Can you believe it? We're halfway through July. What is the second half of July going to bring? Well, what you would expect. Plenty of summertime weather conditions complete with just about everything. Some heat, some thunderstorms, and what you'd expect as you hit midsummer. This is what we're watching for you. It's going to be the hottest in the far western states, the southwest United States, but some monsoon moisture gets thrown in. So that's going to help a little bit with the heat, especially in the Great Basin states, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado. Then as you get into California, Nevada, and the Pacific Northwest, it will be very, very warm and the far south part of the United States as well. Although the middle of the country is still going to see temperatures that really won't be all that far from average, even a little cooler than average. But temperatures in the Rockies and the Western High Plains, which at least east of the Continental Divide have been a bit cooler, will see some warmer weather in the week ahead. Corn Belt, well, they've been able to pick up some rain. There are still some very dry areas of the Corn Belt that need more rain, but more rain chances for the Midwest and the Corn Belt will continue here over the next week. Over the past week, the rainfall has been pretty good. You can see the rain across South Dakota, Nebraska, into the Corn Belt here, areas of Missouri and areas of Southern Illinois, and then up north, a little bit drier than along the east slopes of the Rockies into the plains. There's been more rains, more rains down in Oklahoma. Then the monsoon finally showed up in parts of Arizona and New Mexico, and there's more of this coming here in the next week. Along and west of the divide, a much drier pattern, which is pretty typical for this time of year before that monsoon moisture can get in and we'll see that develop. You can see across the far south and southeast and eastern parts of the United States, pretty wet conditions over the last seven days. The soil moisture profile continues to show good soil moisture conditions in a large area here, but we're getting some dryness down here in central and southwest Texas and then the drought conditions that continue in the Midwest and Corn Belt continue. We're also seeing a drying trend develop here in the Pacific Northwest. If you look at the latest drought monitor, you can see the Pacific Northwest showing signs of that dryness. You can continue to see continued drought conditions here in the Corn Belt and Midwest, but also look at all the white. All those white areas mean there's no drought status. All of Colorado now is out of the drought, most of Wyoming as well. And then the western areas of the Dakotas, western Nebraska, across Montana, then arching back into the desert southwest. A large area of the U.S. is out of drought that a year ago. This was for exactly a year ago. You can see how much has improved in the far western states. Really a dramatic improvement. While there has been an eastward shift, as you can see, of the drought conditions over a smaller area in the Midwest and Corn Belt. But really, Outside of this Corn Belt area and down here in parts of Texas, drought conditions have really, really improved compared to a year ago. Over the last week, temperatures, well, along and east of the Rockies, up into Canada, pretty darn cool. Now, the heat's been gathering a lot of news headlines, but there's also been a lot of the country that hasn't been hot. Look at the temperatures here. This is where the heat has been from Mexico to the Pacific Northwest of British Columbia. And we think that this area here over the next seven days will again be the hottest with the nation's midsection from central Canada to the central United States still having a tendency to be a bit below average. And this is where temperatures have been since January 1st. Since January 1st, a lot of the West has been cooler than average. Now taking a look at where we are right now. So to start the forecast period here this weekend, we have this hot dome of high pressure that is across California and the desert states. We have this deep low up into Hudson Bay area. Now that deep low here is going to continue to feed in cooler air in from the northwest to the Great Lakes and the Midwest and the Northeast. And that cooler air is backed up against the mountains here. So east of this line, it is going to be cooler. West of this line, it's going to be much, much warmer. But we do see, along with that heat, subtropical moisture coming up out of Mexico to feed showers and thunderstorms across the southwest United States in the far south and active weather in the Midwest, Corn Belt areas and along the East Coast with more showers and thunderstorms as we go through this upcoming weekend. Now this is a week from today. By next Saturday, 
Notice this high pressure dome grows and expands. What this will do is extend the heat more north and more east while continuing to be very hot in California, the desert southwest, and across the southern plains. But also, this area of the U.S. will be cool, cooling off as well in the Pacific Northwest. So as we go into the next seven days, the hottest weather relative to normal will be right here. But notice I've got thunderstorms here marked. That's because subtropical moisture is coming in. And although we have this hot dome of high pressure, enough moisture to fuel showers and thunderstorms will be developing in the southwestern United States. And you can see that. And if you line up the darker colors here, notice it's an arch. As high pressure gets established over Texas and kind of sits there, moisture circulating around the high will feed these showers and thunderstorms. And notice now, we're also getting showers and thunderstorms that are west of the divide. So western Colorado, Utah, northern Arizona, northern New Mexico, back into Nevada, and the western parts of Wyoming, Montana, you're going to get back into some showers and thunderstorms again as this moisture feed is going to draw moisture underneath that high. And then we see this arch of active showers and thunderstorms in parts of the Corn Belt Midwest developing next week as well. Have yourself a good week ahead.